Hey guys, thanks for clicking this video. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, remember to click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, and if you really want to support me, then consider being a Luxe channel supporter for $4.99 a month. You'll get loyalty badges next to your name, you'll get custom emojis, you'll get rough cuts and bloopers, you'll get discounted merchandise, connect with you on social media, and also you get your name mentioned at the start of each video, like this. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, how are you doing? You all right? <laughs> right. This video is going to be an interesting one because we've got quite a busy day today. Uh, made a little bit more busy by the fact that we've got to go and get a trailer from Strangham Services southbound from a colleague because um, he has broken down, apparently. So that's what we're going to do now. It's going to be a nice short intro. We're just in the yard at the moment. As soon as I get to the end, which will be... In a few seconds, I'll turn the lights off and I'll turn the GoPros off because I can't see. But um, yes, we, uh, we've got to go rescue a trailer. Then we've got to come back to the yard, pick up our trailer that we got loaded with last night, take that down to Essex, do two drops, then get reloaded in Chelmsford, and then we've got to go down to Cornwall. We've got a lot of driving to do today, a lot of driving. Uh, we're going we're gonna to pretty much max out our driving time today. Uh, and then we're going to be in Cornwall tomorrow. You're going to see it all. So stay tuned. Hopefully you enjoy the, the new sound. Uh, I'll talk to you about that in a second, well, when you next see me, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it should sound different this vlog because uh, new, uh, new microphone, but I'll tell you about that more later. Let's go, you can't see me now because I'm on the main road and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, right, it's slightly lighter now, um, which means you should be able to see me, that could be a bad thing. <laughs> right, uh, we're just pulling into Strangham Services now. While I remember, yes, audio. So I've now purchased a uh, wireless microphone. Uh, it's on the top just there. Uh, it means I can walk away from the truck and uh, you can still hear me. And it is connected wirelessly to the GoPro. There's, there's a, a receiver on the top of it. It's actually the same one that Kev T uses. Um, Kev T recommended it. So uh, yeah, big up Kev T. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. Anyway, we are at Strangham Services. We've got to try and find my colleague now. I've got no idea where he is. No idea at all. So we've got to try and find him. Where could he be? He's not down there. Not that I can see anyway. He might also be asleep. So we need, might need to wake him up. Where are you, Craig? Where is he? Where is he? We'll go down this one first. I can't find him. <laughs> I can't see him. I might be going around the wrong way, but I can easily get out of the way of people. He's not over here. Right, we're loaded with the trailer. Bit of a palaver. And I'm a bit hot and sweaty now. 
apologies to this driver here because we've been making a lot of noise. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Services aren't always quiet. Uh, yeah, just had a problem. Uh, I went underneath it, went underneath the trailer, hitched up, done a tug test. It, uh, it was all good. And then uh, got out to put the kingpin, uh, the dog clip in, and it hadn't quite cleared the hole in the dog clip. Uh, so I couldn't secure it. And then I had trouble unhitching again. It was like it was locked in place, but it wasn't fully in. So I wasn't just going to drive it away without the dog clip in. So unfortunately, we've been there tugging it away and hiring and doing the suspension just to get the fifth wheel released so that uh, I can disengage and then re engage again. So yeah, but anyway, we're on our way back to the yard where we're going to drop this trailer off uh, and then um, hitch up to my trailer and uh, go, to, go to Essex. Ah, uh, that's a bit of palaver. Sweating. Woo! Bit of a workout. Fucking <laughs> bit of a workout at uh, six thirty in the morning. Ah. <laughs> uh. Anyway, let's crack on back to the yard. Um, like I said, get the trailer and then we'll crack on from there. It's not two lanes, this, mate, I don't think. And then we'll, uh, yeah, make our way down to Essex. We've got to get a break in as well on the way down now because we're probably going to run out of driving time on the way down there. But never mind. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Right, so we're in the yard now. We've got to drop the trailer right there. Our trailer's right in front of us. And then we need to get on, go to Essex, because uh, time is starting to be against us a little bit. Straight back. Drop it about here. Right, that's that one unhitched. Let's hitch up to this other trailer. Let's go and fully connect. Da -da -da. Got a Jenkinson's truck just pulled in behind me. So once we've connected, the first thing we do is uh, put the dog clip in. There we go. Just gonna turn the engine off, you can hear me a bit better. Yeah, so dog clip is the first thing. We then gotta we then gotta put the airlines in. Let's do that now. Some people do it in a certain order, but uh, I just do it in whichever one I pick up first. There we 
Check it out. And then, once we've done all that, come around and do the legs, and then uh, take the trailer brake off. Because all the weights on it, it's always hard to begin with. But once you get going, <sighs> there we go. Okay, and just make sure the trailer brakes off. <sighs> and the only other thing we need to do now is put a number plate on it. So we're going to grab the number plate now. Okay, there's our number plate. Ah, I don't think we're going to fit down there. Let's go the other way. Ah. So yeah, we just put the number plate on. I don't think people know this. Well, I don't know when I become a truck driver, but all those number plates come come off very easily. <sighs> Better check the inside before we leave. Just in case there's any immigrants or anything. Nah, it's all good. Excellent. Right, let's go. Right, wow, we are really racking up the driver time already. <laughs> we've not even made, we've not even made our first delivery. <laughs> and uh, we're on four hours driving time already. Um, so we need to have a break, because we can only do four and a half hours before uh, before stopping for a break. Uh, we're in South Mims services right now on the M25. We, uh, oh, he's close. He's going to hit that truck if he's not careful. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you can't see that, but he was very close. <laughs> um, so yeah, we need, to, we need to have a 45 minute break here in South Mims services. Uh, is he giving up on that? Yeah, he's giving up. <laughs> this uh, this FedEx trailer, he, uh, he tried getting in here, but he's just given up on it. Is he going to try on this one now? Where are we going to park? I think we're going to park over here. I was going to park next to him, but I've changed my mind. Yeah, we're going oh, to squeeze it in there look between those two. That's what we're going to do. Gonna straighten up. And back we go. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't too close to the uh, the truck on the left by straightening up a little bit. But we're good. We can do the window up. There we go, as far back as we can go. Right, so we're on we're on four hours and two minutes driving. Uh, which means we can only do now five hours and 58 
on a 10. Um, we probably are going to go into that. Turn my lights off now. Now it's light. Uh, so, yeah. So, we ha I haven't actually said where we're going in, in, uh, in Essex. All I've said is Essex. First drop is in Rayleigh, Essex. Then we've got to go to Basildon, Essex. Then we need to go up to Chelmsford, get reloaded with, get this, eight pallets for the first store and eight pallets for the second store in, in uh, Cornwall. Um, so 16 pallets in total of plastic plant pots <laughs> weighing a combined weight of just under two tonne for the whole load. Two tonne. Um, so it's going to be an incredibly light load going all the way down to Cornwall. Um, and we're going down to Hale, so it's like very far down into Cornwall, like proper southwest. Um, and we're going to another store, but I can't remember what it was. We'll find out. We'll find out later. But um, yeah, for now we're here. We're uh, I'm going to pop into the garage, get some drink, some food to like last me for the day, and um, yeah, go from there. So let's have a 45 minute break. See you uh, in a bit. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase The Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There's a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram-packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Okay, we are just around the corner now from our first drop in Ray Lee. Uh, apparently it's an industrial estate. Uh, with a, a naughty little reverse manoeuvre that we have to do. Oh, we've got a bit of, a bit of traffic at the lights here, look. I'm going to stay in the right-hand side lane because I want to go right. Just checking around me. Another window down. I want to see what the audio sounds like with the audio, uh, with the window down. Normally, if i got the microphone up here, it catches the wind a little bit. So just catch it, put the window down, see what it sounds like. See if you can still hear me as well. I could turn up the, um, I got it on the lowest setting, so I can turn that up the, uh, the decibels to make me louder if need be. But I won't know until I mess around with it a little bit. But yeah, PGR Builders and Timbers Merchant, 91 to 97 Stadium Way. I think we've got to go in, park up on the left, on a hill, apparently there's a hill and then um, walk down, go see them and tell them I'm here. And then they can, uh, I could got to reverse in. But we got 30 bags and two pallets for them. 30 bags and two pallets. Ba, ba, ba. Gonna merge into this lane. Excellent. Now, we don't want to go into Sainsbury's, we want to go behind Sainsbury's. This left here. Ah, bloody lights. Green, green, green. We want to take up a little space to get around this corner. Excellent. Right, uh, is that a truck? No, that's a sign. Go right down the bottom. I think there's cars following me as well, so we're going to keep an eye on those cars. PGR, there's a sign there. Yeah, there's loads of trucks down here. Don't know who's going where, that's the problem. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a truck in where I want to be in the company. Yeah. 
Right, hazards on. I think the best place to park... Hmm, there isn't really a best place to park. These cars ain't going to want to come out. Gonna have to park here. Right, let's go speak to someone. I guess that forklift's there, PGR. Yeah, we'll have to go talk to someone and uh, take it from there. Is this guy coming to me? No, I don't think so. Right, we're going to test the, uh, the range on this. Let's have a look. It's supposed to have a range of 70 metres. Let's see how far we can get before, uh, before the mic cuts out. So, can you still hear me? You should be able to hear me still. Topsoil. Bit of a naughty reverse in, but we'll make it. I guess you can't hear me now. Yeah, I should have enough room. Yeah, not bad, mate. You? So yeah, we're going to uh, cause some traffic issues now if there's any vehicles coming. But never mind. Right, so we're just waiting for this forklifter to uh, take that pallet off. Let that van through. We need to reverse into that yard and then uh, spin back round. Let's wait for this truck to come out. No, I'm not going to go there. Yeah, there was a truck coming out of where I'm reversing into, so I was just letting them come out first. Told you I was going to cause mayhem. Want that van to come out now. So that's where I want to be. Ba, ba, ba. Should have enough room to get in. Come on. I need you to go, mate. My trailer's going to swing out and hit you. Right where I want to be. OK. 
okay, and what I've got to do now is just allow enough room for other lorries to get in between me and that van. Look, it should do. Ah, he's PGR. Anyway, engine off, we're just going to park here for a sec. In a minute, that ridge is going anyway. When that ridge goes, I'll pull forward a bit more to allow room behind me for the other Arctic to come out. And then when he comes out, I go in. Right, we're loaded. Well, unloaded, sorry. Just got to wait for some air to build up. Paperwork in here. Been here a little bit longer than I expected. But, uh, well, what can you do? Can't go anywhere yet, that I'm blocked in over there. Just gonna have to wait here for a sec. And out we go. Yeah, we're free. That's quite a nice Jeep, isn't it? A very nice Jeep. Right, so, I'm starting to worry a little bit about time. Uh, it's nearly one o'clock. We're only 20 minutes away from, uh, from the next delivery point, which is good. Only 20 minutes away. The downside is if they take too long, I mean, yeah, <laughs> we need to be loaded tonight out of transport. That's what I'm trying to say. I think the mic's in the wrong place there. Yeah, we, um, we definitely need to get to Chelmsford and get loaded so that we can make our way down towards Cornwall. We're not going to get all the way down there, not tonight, but um, we want to get as far as we can. So, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's quite important that we get loaded tonight, so fingers crossed we do. Uh, let's make our way to the next destination. We're like nine miles away, so not too far. Right, we're just around the corner now from uh, Basildon. Someone just tooted their horn at me, so if that was you, hello. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, my cameras didn't come on until about a half a mile up the road. <laughs> right, we're gonna go to the left at this roundabout. So we've got 20 bags, 20 bulk bags to come off at this place. Um, so I'm hoping we're not here for too long. However, I do believe it's a site where we have to tip one side, then turn around and do the other side. So it's a bit of, bit of faffing around, so it might take slightly longer than expected. As long as we're in and out in an hour, say an hour and a half tops, uh, we shouldn't have an issue with getting loaded today. But um, yeah, as long as we get loaded today, everything's, everything's okey-dory, because then we just go as far as we can. But um, We'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see if we, if we don't get loaded, if we don't get loaded, but fingers crossed, fingers crossed we do. Right, just want to turn right up here. Ah, this is not what we want to see. This is not what we want to see. Busy, 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 busy. Uh, how do I tell him I'm for him? I don't know. Right now I'm blocking the road. Only thing I can think of doing is turning right, hopefully we can park down here and then we can reverse it back around the corner. As it's on.
once he's gone, we can just back it round this corner. That's the plan. And then spin round to do the other side. Ah, we didn't want to see another truck here. Right, let's go tell him we're here before someone else gets here and jumps the queue. Right, that load's just gone. We've just got to reverse around the corner now. Hopefully no one gets in our way. Like that van has. There you are. Right, the problem I got now is that lorry's in my way. Because they want to put the bags in here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they want to put the bags down here, so that lorry just needs to move away a little bit. I don't even quite see. Anyway, we're in. Let's get these bags offloaded. Okay. That one is now off. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Excellent. Right, ETA 2 collection point is quarter to three. And, uh, to be honest, I want to get going because the sooner I get loaded, the sooner I leave, and the sooner I leave, the sooner I finish. Because I'm literally just running out with driving time today. I'll uh, 20 minutes we're there. Oh, 20 minutes. Yeah, no more than that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be maxing out my driving time today. So we just work out how many. Uh, oh, Type R. That's the same Type R as I've got. The red one. That's what my car is. That one there. Um, yeah, I work out how much driving time I got left when, when we get loaded before we leave and uh, basically just drive as far as we can. Maybe boy said I can drive right round here and get back out. Oh, yeah, we can. Happy days. Looks like you can park down here as well of an evening. The signs up says no parking, but only between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., which means after 6 p.m. you can park there. Happy days. Right, 25 miles to our destination, 45 minutes, should be there for quarter to three, like I said. Let's go. Okay, so we are now fully loaded. I just thought I'd show you the load, because I haven't actually done that yet. Here we are, plant pots. It turns out it's actually uh, eight and six, rather than eight and eight. So it's actually 14 pallets instead of 16 pallets. We've got six pallets for the second uh, store, which is in Hale. And we've got eight pallets for the first store, which is in Painton. So we've got four this side, four the other side for the first store, three this side, three on the other side for the second store. Um, Painton is a good four and a half hours away by a car. I'd say six hours 45 in a truck. We'll find out when we get in. I put it in the sat nav, I haven't actually put it in yet. But uh, in terms of load security, it's so light, we're just going to use internal straps on the sides. And then on the ass end, what we've done is just crisscrossed it uh, on the back to stop it from coming backwards so uh yeah 14 pallets that's all we got two tons in total less than i think it's actually 1.6 uh five 1650 kilograms so yeah all in all it's a very light load we're gonna we're gonna hardly feel it going down to cornwall but yeah so we're just gonna do the curtain up then we're gonna plan a route and then we'll go uh, i'll see you in the truck